I'm Richard from GenkiJapan.net. As you can tell from the size of the kitchen, I'm not in Japan today, I'm actually in New Zealand. Uh, but I was wanted to show you today this cool card game. So I blogged about this the other day, because a mate of mine, Leon, makes this card game for learning Japanese. I blogged about it and quite a few of you were asking, well, can we actually see it and see what it looks like and stuff? So, I'm going to show you. So, basically you just get a ton of really cool, funky cards on there, all the Japanese questions. But if you notice at the top there, they're all upside down. <laughs> if you notice at the top, they've all got, um, they've got like a number on there and a colour as well. So you can play a lot of cool games like, for example, a you know, Crazy 8's game. You know, like, for example, if I put a purple card down, I put it down. And of course, because it's Japanese, I have to say the Japanese question. So I would say, you know, it's like, Nan nen se desu ka? So it's in Japanese, it's in Roman letters as well, so you can cheat. So you put it down, ask the question, and then the other person has to get another one as well. So... Uh, that was a purple, so if I've got a purple, I can put a purple card down as well and just say, you know, uh, what's that? Uh, Nani yuru no fuku wo kitte masu ka? You know, what colour clothes are you wearing? Uh, so you put that down and you can play games like that. He's got a full list of a load of, oh, Japanese, Japanese and English, of a list of a lot of games you can play, like rock, paper, scissors games, uh, interview games, hunting games, last card games. Uh, if you're a teacher of Japanese, though, I think these are really fantastic. There's a link below if you want to get them. Or if you're just learning Japanese yourself, you know, they're pretty fu cool, funky cards. You know, they've got lots of different stuff. There's ones about time on there. Uh, there's, you know, ones for the game that's like Hantai Mori, which means turn around when you're playing the game. Uh, there's things about weather on there, which is pretty cool. Uh, you know, Nansai desu ka, you know, basic questions, asking about yourself. Uh, yeah, uh, where else is there? There's also uh, things like Tanoshimi, so like um, sports and hobbies and stuff. Uh, where do you live? All sorts of stuff. So I've spread them out here if you just have a quick look down there. And as I say, tons of different games. They're all really high quality cards. They're nice and glossy and, and really... I'm quite jealous of how well he's designed them, actually. Uh, but there you go. So if you're wanting to learn Japanese, you know, they're a cool little resource to have, little game. Leon's got them on a stupid price on his website. I keep telling him he should put his prices up, but he won't listen to me. Uh, so... Uh, if you want to check them out, uh, check out the link below. You can go to his website, agocardgame.com if you want. That's A-G-O, or just go to GenkiJapan.net. Check out the link below and check them out. But I think these are fantastic. As I say, Leon's a mate of mine, so obviously I'm a bit biased. But um, it's, we played it yesterday with my nephew, and he's like seven. And he was really getting into saying all these questions, because he wants to learn Japanese for his karate. So, uh, there you go. That's uh, Jago Card Game, if you want to learn a little bit of Japanese. And I'm Richard from Genki Japan. 